ating Monday morning dahil kasama natin walang iba, international mixed martial arts fighter na may dugong Pinoy and proud na proud siya about this. No other than Brandon The Truth Vera. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning. Salamat. Thank you for having me here. Ako, alam mo, isa sa mga hindi masyado alam ng tao ay eh, napakagaling mo mong Tagalog. Okay lang. Okay lang. <laughs> no, pero you're very fluent kasi pinalaki kang nagkatagalog sa bahay niyo, although laki ka sa Amerika. Yeah, Tagalog sa bahay talaga. Uh, si Lolo nagpalakay sa lahat na mga kapatid ko at mga pinsan. Uh, parents would go to work, all the kids get dropped off at the house, and si Grandma would take care of us. But hindi ka marunong Tagalog, magugutong ka sa bahay. <laughs> Kailangan mag-Tagalog para makakain. Okay mga kapuso ngayon, dito pa si Brandon The Truth Vera. Siya mismo ang magtuturo sa atin ng ilang moves sa mixed martial arts. So Brandon, ito yung inaantay naming lahat. Pwede bang turuan mo kami ng some of your mixed martial arts? Yung tuturuan ko today is really basic, really simple. Uh, mga self-defense techniques lang. Uh, anybody can use uh, if you're in a situation. In a situation. Especially nowadays, medyo marami sa atin. Galakad na co-commute. So it can happen to any of us. Once somebody wants to take advantage of us, eto si Brandon para magturo sa inyo. Okay, so what's our first move? Our first move we're going to go over is uh, uh, called... Defending an overhand right. If somebody throws just a wild haymaker overhand right, uh, I'll show you how to defend, attack, make space, and get out of dodge. So you're out of trouble. Let's show this. Okay, sino kailangan natin victima? <laughs> victima number one. <laughs> okay. All right. Dito na ako stabe. Okay. So kung babae lalaki pwede to na Brandon. Babae lalaki pwede. Most people without any fight training throw this wild punch anyways, especially for lasing, right? So the overhand right is a wild punch. I'll have him demonstrate this overhand by himself first. Go ahead, just throw overhand right. Ganon, right? the Everybody knows how to throw this punch ever since school. So the way to defend it is you don't want to be at the very end of the punch. So that's where he's strongest at. You want to be inside. I don't want to be here when the punch comes. I want to be inside. I bring my arm up, uh -huh. my hand to my face, mm -hmm. I come inside and crash. Okay. So, for now, he's all home. Right from this position here, I go to a clinch. I'm going to grab the back of his neck and the back of his arm. Wow. I'm going to put my rear leg off of my toe. I'm going to put my head to the chest. Here. And I land. I'm going to put my head here so I make space. Dito, you can either run mm -hmm. or follow up, si Pasa Ulo. Oh, okay. Pag ako'y bakuha ko'y babae, tatakbo na ako. Pati sa laki siya. Ganun na. Sa babae, isa pa. Lock, here, hold, tira mo dyan, another region. Oh, oh. The low belt. Bang! Ulak. Oh, that's our first move. All right. Gagawin ko bang fast move yun? One fast one? Aatras lang ako, siyempre. Teka, matas. I don't wanna be hit, so dito na muna ako. Okay, one fast one. Alright, that's our first move. Na sigurado kung babayat ka at tinakbal. I'm sure tumatakbo ka na kayo pa pala iyo, pero that's great. Okay, so do we have a second move? We have a second move. It's called a push kick, teep, or foot jack. This move is just to make space between you and the person attacking you. And you should use this move if you want to avoid the confrontation. Alam mo talaga threat siya. Gusto kang banatan. You know you want to fight you. But you don't want to fight. You're going to make space and run. You can use your lead leg or your rear leg. You got to stand in a stance like this. You don't want to be standing like this. If somebody's confronting you, you don't want to be you're off balance. Yeah. So just going to pick a stance. It doesn't matter. Your lead leg is your faster leg. Your rear leg is your more powerful leg. We'll go over both. Um, lang mahirap dito. You have to practice target, target specific, so you don't slip off side to side. And you need to make sure that uh, you can find your distance. If he's there, he's here, and I try to use my foot jab now, he's too far away. Uh -huh. If I use my rear leg, I'm still at the very end. Oh. I don't want him in too close. Paso, paso. I don't want him here, because now I can't use a push kick. Diba? So as he's coming in, I lift my knee, put my ball of foot and push him away. Oh, okay. That's a foot jab. Mm -hmm. Foot jab. There's three names for it depending on what camp you're from or what, what part of the country you're in. 
The rear leg, same thing. He comes at me, push him away. Make space. He keeps coming in. You can't keep doing the same move over and over again, but it's definitely a good way to create space. And if they understand that you just kick them in their stomach, they'll know that you can kind of defend yourself. He might leave you alone. He or she might leave you alone. Parang gusto ko patanggalin yung shirt niya. Meron ka na ba mga pasa? <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you very much, UFC champion Brandon, the truth. Meron nga pala, Brandon, meron ka bang advice sa mga gusto pumasok sa UFC like you who, who, who want to be like you? Uh, if you're going to pursue MMA, especially dito sa Pilipinas, mahirap talaga ang buhay ng MMA star. It's a... Uh, yung training mo mahirap, ang life mo mahirap. You don't go out, wala nang gimmick. Wala nang inuman, wala nang partying. It's a full-time job. Mahirap talaga. Mahirap talang buhay. And masasaktan ka. Maybe not all the time, but you're gonna get hurt. Handle that mentally, physically, and emotionally.